Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play a very awesome song called Bad Apple by Toho, okay? So the theme is very catchy in it, I'll be teaching you the theme, okay? So check it out, this is a preview of what you're going to learn in today's lesson, it goes like this, okay? Here we go, let's get started into learning this theme, all right? So here we go. Um, it's pretty catchy, there are four main parts in this lesson. After you learn the four parts, it's actually not as hard as you think it is. Okay, so let's get right into it. First part, right hand starts on the E flat here, so middle C is here, right? So on the E flat right next to it, so it goes E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, and then up to the higher E flat, D flat, B flat, down to the lower E flat again, back up to B flat, A flat, G flat, F, and that is the first part, okay? So one more time for this first part, so it goes like this, it goes E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, up to the higher E flat, D flat, B flat, down to the lower E flat, up to B flat, A flat, G flat, F. And that's it for the right hand for this first part, okay? Left hand, okay, first of all, we're gonna do blue, duh, no, no, can't even say it, talk properly, okay? We're gonna do block chords first, and then I'll tell you the pattern at the end of the lesson. So here we go. Uh, the two chords in this first part for the left hand, it's E flat minor twice, which is E flat, G flat, B flat. So two of these chords, okay? So two of them, the two E flat minor chords, okay? So yeah, that's easy. The first part is just two E flat minor chords. So easy way to remember E flat minor has all black notes there, okay? So that's that. Okay, the two hands together for this first part goes like this. So it goes E flat and E flat minor together. So it's together. B flat and E flat minor together. Like that, and that's the first part. One more time for this first part. So it goes like this, goes together. Together. Just like that, okay? And that is the first part, okay? And that's that, all right? After you get the first part, Second part right hand continues, it goes E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, then A flat, G flat, F, E flat, F, G flat, F, E flat, D, F, like that. And that is the second part for the right hand, okay? One more time for the second part, so it goes like this, it goes E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, A flat, G flat, F, E flat, F, G flat, F, E flat, D, F. And that is the right hand for the second part, okay? So once you get that left hand, we have three chords here. The three chords are B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. Second chord is D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. And then the third chord is first inversion of B flat major, which is D, F, B flat. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, so B major followed by D flat major followed by first inversion B flat major, the two hands together goes like this, it goes E flat and B major together, so it's together, F and D flat major together, F and first inversion together, just like that. One more time, so it goes like this, together, together, together. That is the second part, okay? So, so far, the two parts that we've learnt will be played back to back like this. Check it out, so. And that's it for the two parts, okay? Then, very awesome thing happens here is because the third part is actually exactly the same as the first part. So, woohoo, we just saved some time, let's go. So, third part, same as the thir first part, let's go. Just goes like this. So third part, same as the first part, remember that, remember that, remember that, okay? But anyway, regardless, uh, so far the three parts that I've learned will be played back to back like this. Check it out, so it just goes like this. Like that, okay? So, that's that. Moving on to the fourth and last part of this section, all right, and continues, it goes, E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, and then 
A flat, G flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat. And that's it for the fourth part. One more time for this fourth part. So it goes like this. It goes E flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat, A flat, G flat, F, G flat, A flat, B flat. And that's the right hand for this fourth part of the section, okay? Left hand, we have the exact same three chords as the second part. So if you recall, the three chords are B major, which is B, D sharp, F sharp. The second chord is D flat major, which is D flat, F, A flat. And then the third chord is the first inversion of B flat major, which is D, F, B flat. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, B major, D flat major, and first inversion of B flat major, the two ends together goes like this, E flat and B major together. So it's together. F and D flat major together, A flat and first inversion, B flat major together. Just like that. One more time, it goes like this. Skidda, skidda, skidda. And that is it for this fourth part. All right. So back to back, the four parts of this lesson will be played like this. Check it out. So. So what you want to do is obviously repeat this until you can play it very smoothly for every single part Like connecting every part like that and then also repeating again to see if you're consistently playing the same thing Okay, I want to increase the speed So after you can get it like, really smooth and articulate like that, then you can consider doing the left hand chord pattern, which is very simple. What you do, uh, basically, you do the kind of umpa pattern where you do the lowest note of the chord followed by the high two notes of the chord, and you repeat that like so, umpa, dumpa, umpa, umpa, like that. Even for the other chord, same thing, same thing for this, same thing, etc. And then just apply that to it, and yeah, two hands together just goes like that. Okay. So obviously, if you're still a beginner, just get with the melody and chords first because because it does require some hand independence, but if you want to try out hand independence, you can try out this pattern, which should be not that hard as well, because yeah, we broke it up into melody and chords first, so it's easier to figure it out now. So here it goes like this. Yeah, that's pretty much it, okay? So, um, yeah, for this song, it's pretty fast in terms of like the right hand, like changing around stuff, and also sometimes the left hand chord change pretty quickly as well. So just practice those changes and yeah, build up from a slow speed, then build it your way up, and that's the way to go. Not that difficult after that. But anyway, as for now, hope you enjoyed this lesson of Bad Apple. It's a really catchy song. Enjoy playing this, and as for now, check out my other piano tutorials on my channel if you like learning this way. I have like 2,600 of these piano videos. For you to enjoy and learn from so a lot of stuff but anyway also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below somewhere if you want to learn more about my piano methods methods and teachings and stuff okay but anyway yeah okay so that's it enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time i'm glad you made it to the end of my video now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.